welcome to pavitra laptop care so today's topic is keyboard and touchpad connection between pch or io see usually the keyboard and touchpad both are connected to each other with the io okay from io some signal has to go to keyboard and some signal has to go to touchpad according to that some data and clock that access from the pch also so how the touchpad and keyboard both will work and what are the input requirements is required so those in today's topic we will discuss the touchpad will work through that ps2 and keyboard will work as a matrix uh, bus we'll go to the page number as they mentioned it's a 40 so here what we are seeing this is the io page see this is the touchpad section how many connections are there see maximum 8 pins so in that input will be 3 volts vs and as usual ground will be 7 and 8 in this the first thing is input section any other inputs are there no there is no other inputs it will work through the 3 vs 3 suspend voltage one suspend voltage the 3 volt suspend voltage comes to the touch pad then this particular section will be active along with that after this input section the tp clock and tp data and the tp smb clock and tp smb data will function bidirectionally so what is the tp clock and data and what is that uh, smb clock and data where it will be connected both are connected to separate section the tp clock and tp data connected bidirectionally to the io the tp smb clock and the tp smb data is bidirectionally connected to the pch see here you have to take care of the voltage here you won't get 3 volts minimum 5 volts vs you will get in this two the vs i uh, mean suspend voltage 5 volts suspend voltage you will get in touch pad clock and tp data this directly bidirectionally connected with io see i will show you see here this is a 5 volts vs so make sure this is not 3 volts it will be 5 volts this one is connected to this one this one is connected to io this ps2 interface section now what about smb data and smb clock see this tp smb clock and smb data having 3 volt section see i will show you how 3 volts will come here in this particular path if you search this so this one directly goes to ps uh, pch smb clock okay but how the voltage will get see tp clock here is a logic once smb clock from pcs section once it comes the 3 vs voltage this enables this particular mosfet then this smb clock will become as tp smb clock this one is pull up through this 3 vs okay here same thing smb data this one also same thing 3 vs this base is enabled through this 3 vs once this enables i mean once this particular mosfet active then smb data and smb tp smb data both will be same no so smb data will become tp smb data the main point you have to note down is this logic circuit in touchpad see there are two clock data uh, clock and data one is connected to io and other one is connected to pch the pch connection the clock and data will be there no that has given through this logic so you need to check this carefully if you are unable to get the data and clock 
here it's a very simple topic see here touchpad section over now what about keyboard uh, keyboard section see here this is the keyboard section here only simple thing is you have to note down the input section the 5 volts vs and other one is caps led if cap led voltage comes then this will become ground and caps will be negatively ground here two are there caps power and caps power negative okay see once this comes here negative connection will become to ground and this positive will be high means caps lock will be high okay when you switch off the caps lock then it will disconnect so it will be negative power will be high means it will be low and other thing is this one bidirectionally connected see this ks 0 to 7 ksi input ks input 0 to 7 is coming through the io the signals coming through the io usually in these pins you will get 3 volt section but here the output from the keyboard connection from the keyboard what you type those things will goes to matrix section io section matrix io section that one won't be having any voltage but the thing is this 0 to 7 will be having voltage in some keyboards not all okay here communication will be happening so what are the points we have to note down here 5 volts vs and this mosfet you have to take care the caps led signal comes through the io then your caps lock will be on okay anything else see it's a very simple topic internal keyboard connection sometimes in touchpad there will be multiple pin maybe it's uh, now it's here 8 pin maybe 10 or 12 also will be there they are also almost similar not much difference but the thing is bidirectionally connected to io and bidirectionally connected to the pch that's it if you have any doubts so you can put it in comment box and if you are not yet subscribed please subscribe our channel so i can give you the more knowledge better knowledge thank you thank you very much